Hi, I am Marfa Estrada, a medical student, and today I'm going to be discussing and demonstrating about CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation to an infant patient. So first, let us discuss the five main components of high-quality CPR. So first is adequate chest compression. When we say adequate chest compression, it is about the depth of the chest compression. It should be one-third of the anterior-posterior diameter of the chest of the infant or four centimeters depth or one and a half inches. So next is optimal chest compressions up to uh, 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Next is to minimize uh, interruptions between compressions up to less than 10 seconds or up to just 10 seconds, no more than 10 seconds and uh, between compre between our between sets of compressions or between rounds of comp uh, compressions. Next is to allow the full recoil of the chest in every compression. So compression, recoil, compression, recoil. And lastly is to avoid excessive ventilation. So blow, blowing full, blow, blowing to the, foot, to the mouth of the patient, excessive ventilation is not allowed. So let us proceed to the next step by step. So you see an unconscious infant. Uh, lying on the ground with no one around, check for, the, for, check for the responsiveness. Hey baby, are you okay? Hey baby, are you okay? Hey baby, are you okay? No response, check for the pulse, inner aspect of the antecubital area or the brachial pulse. No pulse, no breaths, no response, activate emergency response system or call 911, call for help. Then, after that, immediately start compressions. So again, in compressions, two, two, two fingers, the index and the middle fingers, at the center of the chest, just below the nipple line, compressions of one-third of the anterior-posterior diameter, or one and a half inches, just estimate, and uh, allowing full recoil and um, um, giving it 100 to 120 beats or compression per minute, or just two compression per second. Let's start. 1, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015. After giving um, 30 compressions, let us give two rescue breaths. So head tilt, chin lift, pinch the nose, blow to the mouth, open mouth, check for the rise and fall of the... Uh, Rise and fall of the chest. Two rescue breaths, one second each. Let's start. Check, check. Then after that, check for the brachial pulse again. Then if there, there's no still brachial pulse, let us do another round of chest compression. The rescue breaths and the checking of the brachial pulse shall not exceed 10 seconds before you start another round of chest compressions. Thank you.